Welcome to the Maths Department. My name's Oliver Hayden. I've been Head of Maths here for five years. Now you probably want to know what's so good about Maths. Well, it gives you lots of excellent problem solving skills and almost every career relies on some element of Maths. Maths is everywhere. It's not just in the classroom, it's in technology, it's in phones, it's in business, and also it's the universal language of the world. Everyone understands numbers, whereas they don't necessarily all understand the same language. I'm very proud of our department. I think it is one of the best in the school. Why we're so good is we're a very strong, close-knit team of 11 teachers. Nine are full-time, two are part-time. We've got a very special maths block here. It was purpose-built about 40 years ago. Um, we've got 10 purpose-built classrooms, all with interactive whiteboards. They're nice and spacious and uh, we've got lots of excellent facilities. Here in the department, we're very fortunate that when the pupils start in year seven, we set them based on the entrance paper. However, we don't always get it right, so we monitor them over the first few months to make sure that they're in the right set according to their needs and their ability. And after a couple of months, we reset them based on a common test that we do. The main advantage of setting is it allows us to tailor the scheme of work and that leads on to fantastic results at GCSE where we almost always have a 100% pass rate at grade 4 and above. Following that we have over half the sixth form decide to take A-level maths and there's been increasing popularity in further maths over the last few years. About five or six years ago there'd be half a dozen taking it and now we regularly have between 16 and 18 taking further maths. And what is particularly nice is that there's a good gender split between the boys and the girls in those groups. One of the big focuses in the department is making sure that all pupils have really sound presentation skills and we really focus on that to make sure that they present it beautifully, it's detailed and great care is taken in presentation as well. We also want them to become competent mental arithmetic mathematicians so we have a non-calculator policy for most of year seven. We like to support the students as best we can, especially those who are going on to do maths, physics or engineering at university. And to help them prepare for any entrance papers they may need to take, we have a weekly workshop where they collaboratively work on problem solving activities. We try to make maths as much fun as possible and where the opportunity arises, we try and take the pupils out of the classroom. That could be maths trails around the gardens, into form and into house competitions and regional competitions against other local schools. There's also the annual fiercely contested countdown competition. As well as just the lessons and the activities in school, we do try and take them on trips wherever possible. And for the last few years, we've taken them to maths inspiration lectures, which are usually centered in Birmingham and they're aimed at pupils in year 11 and sixth form. Other activities we do, we have a maths in motion club, which is where the pupils have to tune a Formula One car and then the international races. And to add additional challenge to the students, we offer the Further Maths GCSE, which we hope will give them an extra GCSE. However, if it doesn't, it'll do nothing else other than improve algebra and prepare them for A-levels. There is plenty more information on the school website. And if you have any questions, do feel free to get in touch with the maths department.